Welcome back to my animal education series. Sitting here with Mariah at the Henson Robinson Zoo. Hello. Hey. And who do we have here? So this is Pedro, and he is a southern three-banded armadillo. Uh, they are found in South America, Brazil, and Argentina. So what kind of environments down there would these armadillos like to live in? You can find them in grasslands or even in um, kind of forested areas. Um, they are ground dwellers, and um, they will use other animal burrows as their own burrow. So what do these armadillos eat in the wild? So they eat um, a lot of um, insects, a lot of um, termites, and ants are, are in high priority for them. Um, but they'll also eat other things like beetle grubs and worms that are underneath the soil as well. And what kind of animals would try to eat this armadillo? Well, really, um, you can see all of this armor on him. Um, it's kind of it's like a shell, similar to a turtle, um, and it's made out of bone. And so it's very strong and very hard. And armadillo actually means little armored one. So for the most part, they don't have too many natural predators. Um, and it would take something like a jaguar that's got a huge jaw and the, um, the strength in their jaw to be able to actually penetrate through their shell um, to be able to um, get to, I guess, the meat of the armadillo. Really, their main threats are actually humans. Um, people will hunt them um, for food and um, for other things. So obviously there are multiple kinds of armadillos, so what are the other kinds of armadillos? So around here um, in North America from um, Florida, Georgia, um, over to Texas, into Missouri, and even um, moving into Illinois, we have a nine-banded armadillo. Um, compared to Pedro here, they are much larger in their size. And as you notice, Pedro is all curled up. He's kind of all closed up. Um, we can see a couple of um, feet. We've got a back foot here and actually a front foot. Um, and this is his head. And um, three-banded armadillos, that's what makes them unique, is that they can um, close up um, and curl almost completely into a ball um, and close everything in and protect themselves. But a nine-banded armadillo, their, um, their body is so large and they've got um, many bands and so they cannot physically close up into a ball like this. So you mentioned the front foot here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's a really large nail. So how does that help them in the wild? Yeah, so um, armadillos are generally nocturnal. So they're usually foraging and looking for food at nighttime. And um, as such, they don't have as well-developed eyesight. So they have to use other tools in order to find food. For the three-banded armadillo, they use these um, long nails, um, super diggers, and they will um, dig up insects, um, anthills, and termite mounds um, to find their food. They'll also use um, their nose, so if we can see his nose, it's almost always wiggling. Um, because he doesn't have well-developed eyesight, he has to rely on his nose to find food. Um, and so he will, he will sniff something out and then he'll dig for it. Um, and their nose is probably their best um, well-developed um, sense because if he's up on the surface of the ground up here, he can smell an ant or a termite mound um, or anthill down about eight or nine inches under the wow. surface. So he really uses that nose to find food. So are these armadillos endangered? Um, they are a threatened species. Um, they are, as I said, they, um, most of their threats are, are human enforced. Um, people will hunt them. Um, but they also are under threat from um, habitat destruction and loss of habitat. So what is one of your favorite things about the three-banded armadillo? Um, I love Pedro. I love his personality. Um, these guys are so unique in there um, that they can curl up into that ball. Um, when we present him and show him to people, um, they, they maybe can get to the conclusion that he's an armadillo, but beyond that, they're not sure. Um, and so it's just really cool. He's really unique. Um, and it's just really fun to show off and something that people don't always realize um, because he's got this hard armor it makes them think of a reptile which of course we know has scales mm -hmm. but these guys are actually mammals so they're more closely related to us than they are to snakes and lizards um, and we can see evidence of that in these hairs that he has that are sticking out so those are sensor hairs he's got them up here on top of his head between um, his head plates there and um, his body it's got a little bit of hair on that skin um, and then underneath and again those are sensor hairs sensory hairs um, and when they're moving around at night so he needs to know where he's um, what's nearby um, but they just have a few of them kind of on their underside so how did Pedro come here to the zoo you know I don't know how Pedro um, his full story um, he's always been in our education department so he is an animal that 
um, we use as the education staff members um, for programming, um, for meet and greets with people. We also use him with our um, docents, our adult volunteers that work with our education animals. Um, and they get to take him out on grounds and um, do education with people too. Um, and he is, um, he's actually, I believe, about 20 years old. So he is fairly old for, um, for an armadillo. And he's, he's waking up now, so he wants to get down and, and move around um, and check things out. But uh. well, we'll cut the video off here since <laughs> Professor got all my questions and he's getting kind of cranky. <laughs> Awesome. So, thank you so much for telling us about the three banded armadillo. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram at Coach Church. And as always, I'll see you next week.